So, why is a sunward pointing jet such a big deal? First, let's cover the basics. Comets are often called cosmic snowballs, a term coined by the brilliant astronomer Fred Whipple back in 1950. His model describes a nucleus made of ice, dust, and rock. As a comet approaches the sun, solar radiation heats its surface, causing ices like water to turn directly into gas, a process called sublimation, at temperatures above minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This process creates a glowing atmosphere around the nucleus called a coma. The sun's influence doesn't stop there. It produces two distinct forces, radiation pressure from photons and the solar wind, a stream of charged particles traveling at over 400 kilometers per second. As explained by solar physicist Eugene Parker, these forces push the gas and dust away, forming two tails. The dust tail is broad and curved. The ion tail made of charged gas is thinner and points directly away from the sun, like a windsock in a gale. No matter where the comet is in its orbit, the rule is unwavering. The tails always point away from the sun. This is fundamental observable physics, seen in every comet we've ever studied. 